So guys, uh, for the first part of the train today, I just want you guys to use your footwork, your hand works a little bit. And then we're gonna work on the counter of the, the guillotine, okay? Every time you go for the single leg and you get caught on the guillotine, every time you go for the double and you get caught on the guillotine, we're gonna work a couple ways to, walk, to make the situation better. But if you got caught on the guillotine, man, it's pretty hard to, to escape. The best way to avoid be submitting on the guillotine and don't get caught on the guillotine, okay? Don't, don't think it's a magic way that I'm gonna teach you, you're never gonna tap in the guillotine again, no. It's like you asking for escape from the triangle. Don't get caught in the triangle. Once you're done you're inside the triangle, it's too late already. Like, it's no self-defense someone has a gun in your face, like that. You should have think before this happens. You, you messed up a long time ago if, if you have that. So, I just want you guys to move around, watch your footwork. Every time you control your opponent's wrist, neck, pull, push, you want to mess up with his footwork and his posture, okay, before you shoot your, your takedown attempt. Every time that I want to go for the takedown on Marcus, I want to do something before I set up my takedown. If I just try here, he's going to do this prowl, he's going to frame, he's going to defend my takedown. So you always look for control, pull, push, and then you go. Drop your knee, change the level, always with your shoulder below of his shoulder. If we have shoulder to shoulder, there's more chance to him to stop my takedown. So every time you have the, the wrist, bringing him the way, switch, keep pulling his head down like that. Make him feel like discomfortable all the time because he's gonna try to push me away and look it up, try to bust it up. So every time that I'm here with Mark, I'm pulling his head down, he's gonna try to move my arms away and bust it up. So I drop my weight and I go. Also, you guys can fake takedown. Every time you're here, Go there because he does this to block, and then when he come back, you go again. You shoot twice. You don't want fake one, you want second one. Okay, just to break his time. I just want you guys to play around with your mobility, hands work, foot work. Okay, you want how is your arm? You want your arm inside his arm. Okay, he always gonna be here. We always gonna be fighting for who is working on the best grip. Never turn your body sideways too, because he's gonna kick. If he throw my hand that way, and I step, he will kick. So he's gonna fall. Every time he grabs my neck and I do this, the opponent's gonna kick to break your balance. Sometimes he just want you to do a little, uh, a little wrong step to attack the takedown. If I'm here with Mark, and I make his step on the wrong spot, and I kick, he's fixing his balance. I go for the takedown. So I just want you guys to create momentum to set up a takedown. Okay? Any questions? No? Let's go. Okay, so now, let's say that every time that you you, you mess it up and then you went through a single leg on, on your opponent. So at the time that you did the single leg, he's hugging, he hugged your, your neck. He pushed your head to the other side and he, he brought your head to the guillotine. So, guillotine. So he got you here. So a couple things that you can do to make the situation better. You can keep it going, okay? Don't stop here. You can hug his hip and go around him. Put pressure with your, the back of your head on his shoulder. See his hand? So you keep going here. Don't let him post it up. Don't let him get in like that. So you go to him and your hip go next to his hip. And then you're gonna look up, going to the body lock. Okay, sometimes you're gonna keep going for the guillotine. So you're gonna be here. Don't stop till his arm uh, move it out, okay? Keep spinning. And then you can attack now. It's a, it's a little momentum that you have there. If you let your opponent lock his posture like that, it's kinda gonna be too late. It's gonna be hard to bring his posture down again. So again, I'm here, he jumped on the guillotine. So I'm there. I'm not seeing weight, he keep his hip away. I'm not seeing weight to go around him. He's moving with me, he has a good posture. So first thing that you gotta do, uh -huh. hold the wrist, okay? And then the other hand, the hand, keep his hip away. Don't let him step in and post it up like that. So 
Hold the wrist, push his hip away like this. So now, what are you gonna do? You holding the wrist, you can turn around and break the break his posture. So you're gonna use the same momentum to step around like this. And keep going to the, to the body lock. Okay, so you use the momentum to step back and go forward. So I'm here, I, I hold the wrist, push my away. So I step back and move around. Okay. So the, the, the point is, relieve the pressure enough so you won't tap, relieve the pressure and try to keep spinning to the body lock so he's gonna break the grip, so he's gonna let you go. Couple things also that you can do here, every time you're in the guillotine, you can gain time here. So now you can go to the wrist and release, keep pushing to escape your head. If you can break the grip underneath your chin, it's gonna help you to breathe and escape. Push your shoulder away, find your way out. Okay, so I want you guys to go around, trying to gain the body lock. Okay, do it two times each, and do one just breaking the grip. Make it a little bit difficult for your opponent to break the grip, put a little pressure, but not too much to make it tap, okay? Any question? Let's say, uh, you took your opponent down with the guillotine. So, if you take him down inside the close guard, that's couple is is almost impossible to escape. Like it's very hard to escape. You have to have a really good resistance, or his guillotine gotta be loose a little bit, so you can have a chance to escape. But once you open and close, uh, have a tight guillotine and close the guard on you, it's pretty much done. So be careful with this kind of situation. That's it. I'm here. I went to the double. I went to the double, Mark. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to the double marks, he got the guillotine. But I finished the double. And then we got to this situation right here. So, couple things. If you have your arm inside, who's this? Here, one hand on the shoulder and try to escape the back of your head first. Never, never pull against your chin because you're making the, the choke tighter. So you're here, you want to escape. Let me show again. You want to escape the top of your head. You want to pull his arm out right here. Okay, one more time. I'm here, I'll trap his shoulder and pull out like that. So if your arm is in, if your arm is out and he's only on your head like that, one, one arm can go under his face, on his shoulder and the other one here. So now all you gotta do is put some pressure on his neck and try to look it up. Okay, but again, it's very hard to do. That's the last option. So another thing too, is if you inside the, the half guard here, which is very hard to escape as well. So again, you keep the pressure, keep it, try to keep his back on the mat. Don't let him turn sideways. Keep his back on the mat like that. And again, try to force his shoulder where you can look up. If you have this side here, which happens sometimes, you'll be fine. You just gotta pass the guard first, and then keep the pressure here. Here is fine. Point your chin to his rib. <laughs> See? Once <laughs> your chin against his rib, you're gonna feel pain too. And the choke on that way, not gonna be that tight. Okay? Just one thing, if you want his side control, don't let him close his guard. Keep the hip away. And then you keep going to the head, he's gonna miss the angle. If he's here, block his hip and keep going to the head. See? You're gonna be out. Again, just relieve the pressure on your neck and try to escape the top of your head right here. Let's work with the situation now, okay? Go for double or single, block your guillotine, let your opponent take you down, easy. And then you find your way out, pushing the shoulder, uh, play around with the angles a little bit, see which angle you feel better, which angle relieves the choke. Okay, try to understand a little bit better about the mechanic of the movement. Okay, any questions? Let's go. Hands up. One, two. Find it up.